Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, an illustrator and animator. And this is a review about a great documentary which is called Making It. The journey as an artist is a bunch of people standing on a shore, right? And making it is on the other side of the shore. Everybody talks about how bad they want to get it, but only a few people will step on those first couple rocks. And then they'll either fall in the stream because it's too hard and get swept away, or they'll keep going. But the funny thing is, is it's only the guys that get to the middle that can see the pathway. Because from the other side of the shore where everybody's at, you can't see the other rocks. You need to get in the water. You need to get in the middle of it, and then you'll be able to see the path. Until you're there, you can't do it. So really, you need to jump in. A few weeks ago, uh, the director of this documentary sent an email to me and he just wanted to share the documentary he has made. He has made it uh, several years ago, I think, in 2015. But now it is available for free. So I'll leave a link in the description box down below so that you can see the video. The video is written by Woodrow Hinton, which is an illustrator. And together with uh, Tony Mormon, they made this uh, documentary. And it follows three illustrators that are friends of Woodrow. And I think I met Woodrow uh, at the San Diego Comic Con some years ago. And, you know, he just wanted to feature his friends. And the three illustrators that he follows are Andrew Baudemann, Eric Fortune, and Brian Ewing. And they're really great illustrators and it's very interesting to see this documentary you know to see uh, what it takes to become a great illustrator and it begins with the question uh, if you need an art education times are changing education costs are rising and students today more than ever are asking themselves is a formal education worth it so to start at the beginning we really have to have an honest conversation with students artists and educators. I wrote a blog post called Is Art School Worth It? <laughs> and if you have the resources and the money or rich parents or whatever, uh, then it's an awesome experience. If you're going to graduate with $100,000, I'd really try to realistically wrap your head around how much how big that number is and how much stress that's going to cause on you to have to pay that loan back a month and live in an apartment and drive a car and eat food. Um, it's, it's a lot of money. So yeah, I never finished art school and um, whenever I got a, an opportunity to travel as an artist, which means someone hired me to basically just be somewhere as an artist and uh, I would get to meet students and a lot of them, their first question was, what was, you know, what did you graduate with? What degree did you get? And I would just tell them I haven't gotten that yet. I haven't graduated yet, I haven't finished. And they also interview a lot of uh, uh, students and along the, the video, you see a lot of great illustrators and they filmed at the San Diego Comic-Con. So you have some comments by uh, Irene Gallo or, uh, one of my favorite illustrators, Greg Manchess. The learning process, you hit the plateau, you ride it for a while, and then you hit the wall that you have to climb. And after this many years in the business, I realized that's, that is the process. That's the step-by-step -step process. And you just, if you can deal with that, you're good to go. If you can't, 98% drop away. And, you know, in this uh, documentary, you see, uh, the doubts and you know that it isn't really easy you know to make a living uh, doing illustrations or animation so I really recommend this uh, documentary and even if you're a student or already an artist it's a very relatable and interesting uh, documentary to uh, see it's around uh, 88 minutes so it's a very long documentary, but you know, you can see some great art by uh, the three artists and you know, it's always good, you know, to see work of others and what they 
needed to do to get to uh, a certain level. So seeing this documentary has also left uh, me with the question, am I making it as uh, an illustrator? And you know, it's hard to answer that because when you start out uh, as an artist, you have very big goals. When I started out it was around, um, I think 20, 20 years ago, I started out and I first uh, had an education in music. I went to the Conservatory of Music and later on I chose to become an illustrator because I had a, a wrist injury. And then you have a, a different start because you cannot, you know, uh, do everything well. So I first concentrated on music and when I was uh, playing music and, and studying music, I also uh, started to illustrate some books and from there on I just kept on uh, drawing and well I really in the beginning I could not support myself so I needed to find other jobs you know to support my art and it took me uh, until 2008 and now I'm finally uh, can support myself doing illustrations animation and comics so am I making it I think uh, uh, I am making it because I'm making a living uh, of something I always wanted to do and uh, what are your ideas about uh, making it as an artist what do you think please let me know in the comments down below drawing is fun and practice makes perfect see you next time Doodles. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus and Periscope. You can buy my stuff on Vimeo On Demand, Etsy, iBooks and Redbubble. Subscribe to my newsletter and get free stuff. You can find the links in the description box down below.